Hey, good optometry morning. So maybe you've had cataract surgery and you're wondering, can my cataracts come back? Can I get them again? Well, the answer is no. But is it really no? I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor. And today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about secondary cataracts. But first, there's one thing you need to know. Doctors hate it when you use the term secondary cataract. Because technically, you cannot get a cataract a second time. But you can get something called a posterior capsular opacity or posterior capsular haze. But you see, doctors used to think that you patients weren't really that smart. And so, so they felt they needed to dumb it down and call it a secondary cataract because you wouldn't understand what a posterior capsular opacity is. But let's assume that you are smart enough because you are. So let's explain it up. But first, in order to explain that, I need to explain to you what exactly happens in cataract surgery. So inside your eye, you have something called the crystalline lens. And this is your natural lens that focuses images and lets you see clearly. But with time, otherwise known as age, this lens gets hard and it starts to get cloudy. And that is called a cataract. And we're all going to get that. So let's just face the facts. But here's the thing. The crystalline lens needs something to hold it in place. Otherwise, it'll be flopping around inside your eyeball. So therefore, the crystalline lens sits in something called the capsule, which is actually a clear little bag that holds this crystalline lens, which helps hold the crystalline lens in position in your eye so it's not flopping around. So during cataract surgery, the surgeon is going to dilate your pupil. That's going to get your iris out of the way so they can get access to the lens and the capsule that's behind the iris. And they need to get access to the crystalline lens. And in order to do that, they need to cut a hole in the front of that capsule, that little clear bag, so they can get access to that crystalline lens. And that allows them to get the instruments in towards the lens. But the problem is, is that crystalline lens, when it when you develop a cataract, it's really hard and it's really hard to get that thing out. So therefore, the surgeons use this ultrasonic probe that breaks that crystalline lens into a really small pieces. But then how do they get them out? What they use is a suction, basically a vacuum, to suck out all those little pieces out of the bag. And this process is called aspiration. So if you hear the surgeons using that term, they're referring to sucking all the little pieces of the cataract out of the lens capsule. And this whole process of breaking up the lens and sucking it out is called phacoemulsification, but we call it cataract surgery. Now, one of the things that the surgeons are really careful to do is they want to be very good housekeepers and clean out all the parts of that old crystalline lens. And included in that are things called lens epithelial cells. And these are microscopic cells that are the foundation of developing and growing the lens. And so the surgeon needs to use that vacuum to suck out as many of the lens epithelial cells that they can. The problem is those cells are microscopic, so it's hard to see them and it's hard to be sure that you got them all out. So once the surgeon is done cleaning out that capsule, they can insert this synthetic lens implant and having the capsule intact helps them guide that synthetic lens into the correct position in your eye. Yeah. But what happens if the surgeon misses a few of the lens epithelial cells? Well, about 20 to 50% of the time, what happens is those cells can start to grow. And if they happen to start to grow on the back part of that bag of that lens capsule, then you'll get a cloudy appearance on that lens capsule and you'll start to get symptoms. And so this can occur anywhere from a few months after surgery to years down the road after you have cataract surgery. And you're going to get symptoms that are going to feel like the cataract is coming back. You're going to get blurred vision, you're going to get halos, reduced contrast, some glare, trouble driving at night, all the things that you had before the cataract surgery. And that's why a lot of people will say, hey, doc, I think my cataracts are coming back. So this process of posterior capsular opacity or PCO or posterior capsular haze, or sometimes the surgeons will call it scar tissue, or sometimes they'll refer to it as secondary cataract, but we don't like using that term. This is really common. It develops in a lot of people, and so it's not unusual to happen. So is there anything that you can do to prevent this from happening? Well, the answer is not really. It's not that the surgeon's done anything wrong, they haven't done a poor job, and it's not that you've done anything wrong to cause this to happen 
It just happens in some people. So, but what's the answer here? Is there anything that you can do now that you have PCO? Can you get your vision back or are you stuck with this reduced vision forever? Are there glasses or eye drops that can help cure this? Or do you have to have cataract surgery over again? Well, there is an answer. And to find out more about that, you need to watch this video right here. And with that, have a great optometry day.